angry guy here and women are turning to prostitution to pay their rent. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. Women are turning to prostitution to pay their rent. Let's just go ahead and jump into the first video. How much do I owe you for rent again? Uh, $800. I just don't have a lot of money at the moment is there something else that i could give you instead no i'd probably just like the money could i interest you in one tip i'd really just appreciate the rent money there's so much surface area you know so many options money. i don't really want that and i'm into everything <laughs> holding hands Tongue in mouth, showering with my clothes off, watching each other go number two. <clears throat> you know what? Let's just forget about it, okay? Really? Yeah, well, I mean, it's just Monopoly money. Okay. Thanks. My turn. Guys, this is what men are dealing with. And that was a setup, by the way. That was a total setup right there. Thank God he knew not to take the bait. Guys, they're trying to set men up in these streets. They're trying to set men up in these streets, okay? Don't let them ever try to make that exchange, okay? Guys, here you have it, uh, a TikTok of me at 21 years, 21 crying. Uh, let's go back a little bit. Me at 21 crying because I just paid my rent and it took my whole paycheck. And then, of course, it continues by saying, my 17-year-old self realizing I'm a loser. I mean, guys, that's reality for you. All of these women wanted to be boss babes, and now look at that. Look how look look at what that boss babe life has done for them. Look at where it's led them. I'm gonna talk about that lady who said she only had two hundred, three hundred dollars after paying her bills, and she was upset about it and she was crying. If you are somebody who has less of that or in your bank account, or you have none. You're completely broke until your next payday. Wouldn't the bells in your brain start just doing this and saying, if somebody with $200 and $300 is crying that way and I have nothing, right? Or I have $20, maybe this is a problem, right? Because first of all, $200 and $300 is not a lot. That can be spent. Okay, if you, if you got to get some stuff, you still need groceries, you still need stuff around the house. That could be spent, right? So why are y'all mad at that lady? Why aren't you saying this is a problem if somebody with that much money is crying? Now, what's interesting is, for example, I actually put up another video where a woman explained us that, you know, she has savings. You know, she has savings. Her, her, her family, they have savings. They're, they're able to cover their bills, but they don't have any extras. You know, they're putting money away. They're still covering their rent. They're still covering food expenses, you know, but that's about it. They have to, there are no vacations. There's no buying clothing or anything extra. There's literally nothing extra. They've had to cut back on entertainment. They're literally just getting by, but they're being responsible adults and they don't have, and, and then you had a lot of people attacking her like, like sis, you know, I don't even have that kind of money and I'm doing okay. So why are you complaining? Like I barely have two hundred dollars to my name. <laughs> I barely have two hundred dollars to my name. And I'm do I'm living my best life. So why are you even complaining for? You shouldn't be out here complaining when you have that kind of money. And this, the truth is that these people are so irresponsible. They li like literally anything could happen. Anything could come along. And literally just Take these people out. You know, any life emergency could happen. They have nothing. What these women are doing is they're living off the simp economy right now. They're bumming meals off simps, bumming cigarettes off simps. Bumming. I was once a simp. I got I got bummed up for cigarettes. That was 10 years ago. And I learned my lesson, okay? But I'm telling y'all, this is how these women live. 
They they use Sims to subsidize their living. Okay, going out going out every single night for meals. Like at some point, guys, you know it's not gonna work out for them. You know, there's gonna be some dudes that are literally like, okay, yeah, come on out for that free meal. But you know, they they go out for the meal, but they don't they they never return home. And it's like you know they, they they're playing stupid games and they they're gonna win stupid prizes eventually. It's it, it's absolutely insane, and it's like they just don't get it. My rent was seventeen hundred dollars a month for a one bedroom, and then I got a notice that it was going up to twenty two hundred. So I said, "Peace, see ya. I'm not doing this." Um, and then I get a call that's like, "Oh, was that price the problem? Like we can fix that." And I'm like. Were you playing chicken with my rent? Why would you? Peace, done, done, done. Guys, that's what's going on right now. Like, they're basically, this is greedflation. This is greedflation. So she was paying $1,700. Got to notice that it was going up to $2,200. They didn't even have anyone else lined up. But they were basically like, okay, so, you know, we're just going to play chicken with you. And keep in mind, at $1,700 a month, that works out to $20,400 a year. So she was already spending $20,400 a year on rent, and they were going to jack that up on her. So she was headed for around $25,000 a year. And, I mean, it's kind of hilarious because these women are the same women out that are out here making fun of men and mocking men for working as police officers and firefighters or city employees or doing sanitation work, working as garbage men, saying that $70,000 a year is a money and they can't even buy food. They can't afford food. They can't, they don't know how to live. These are the same women going around buying houses that they can't afford. If a man buys a property, he's not living in it. That's a rental property. Okay. He's going to buy a couple. He's going to work to acquire a couple of different rep rental properties until they're all paying for themselves and generating an income for him. And then he'll think about getting a home for himself. These modern day women, they don't understand any of these concepts because, you know, they're basically focused on it. They want it all. They want it all right now. And they're all living on credit. And the thing is, if you're living on just credit, but you don't have an income behind it, then really you're just living on borrowed time. What these women, guys, these women are using credit cards to pay credit cards. Don't let them fool you. They are using credit cards to pay for credit cards. This is the reality of it. You need to wake up and realize. I said this. I said it once. I said this once, and I'll say it again. Nothing lasts forever. All right. They played stupid games, and now they're going to win stupid prizes. All right. This is this is it. This is it for them. Okay. And no one should be out here crying for these women because they made they they did it. They're like, oh, I could do bad all on my own. Okay. So, all right. All right, Keisha. All right, Karen. So do bad. Do bad. You know. You go live your best life now all on your own and don't cry. Don't cry because we're not crying for you. You know, and that's and they're shocked. They're in complete and utter shock because men are moving away. Men are walking away from Western society. They're shocked. Black women are shocked that the black dudes have just picked up and left. They're like, they never thought the black dudes would ever do this. Black women never thought the black dudes would actually just pick up and say, All right, peace out, Keisha. Peace out. I'm going overseas and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go chill with Ling Ling. Now, guys, I want y'all to see this. This is actually pretty interesting. So there was a show called Reba, and this was back in like 2001. And I want you all to see this. It says, it says I'm going to cry. And basically, if you look at the screen, it says, we can afford a place up to $700 a month. This is back in 2001. Really? Wow. You could probably get a great place for $700 a month. That was in 2001, y'all. You could get a nice apartment back in 2001 for $700. And I'm going to tell you something. It's absolutely insane because I, you know, I once asked my mother, I said, how much were you paying for rent back in the nineties? Cause we had a, they had a two bedroom. And the crazy thing is that she said, Oh, it was only about like eight, 800, 850 a month. It wasn't more than eight, it was a 900. It was like eight or 850. It was in the eight hundreds. And I'm like, what? Guys, back in the early 90s, my father was working in security, making $60,000 a year. And my mother was working in nursing. You wanna, can you guys imagine that amount of bread and their rent was, 
their rent for a two bedroom in New York City was only eight hundred or eight fifty a month. That was in New York City, guys. So I want y'all to imagine what rent was in other places of the in the country that were much cheaper than New York City. You literally had people paying four hundred. $500 a month for a two-bedroom apartment. You know, it's so crazy, though. Ten years ago, I had a place, and I was paying, like, five fifty a month for rent. But the thing is, like, I was not even I was only making, like, $31,000. I was not making a ton of money at the time. But it's just crazy to think, like, I would never be able to afford that now. Like that place is like now two thousand dollars a month. Like, how would I like? I'd have to be literally going to the blood bank, selling some blood, trying to like. Even then, I still wouldn't be able to come with that kind of money, you know, working in that kind of job. Now, don't get me wrong; I'm doing great now. You know, being a YouTuber is extremely financially satisfying. However, for the average person, like, nah, they're 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 going to be in the streets. They they can't afford this. They can't afford those kinds of expenses. And I just think to myself, like these, the boomers have no empathy for people today. They're like, "Well, you should have gone to school. What? Oh, you did go to school. Well, uh, well, you, well, you, it's your fault that you're not, you're not making that kind of money to afford these crazy rents. Ah, uh, you silly kids, you're, you're, you're not spending your money wisely. Well, you're eating out too often. You're, you're guys. The boomers don't give a damn. And the moment you say anything, they basically just deflect. They one hundred percent deflect." This is why it's a waste of time. Walk away. Walk away from Western society. Walk away from relations to Western society. And just focus on yourself. Go overseas. Find a place overseas. Get a piece of land somewhere in the Midwest. Put a camper on it. Live cheap. Guys, do your research, but don't pay these stupid rents. These modern-day women, they look at they they are turning to prostitution. Guys, if you're enjoying this content, Help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel. If you already haven't, liking the video and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Women are turning to prostitution to pay their rent. What do you guys think about this and everything else we discussed here today? I want to know your thoughts in the comments, so let's talk about them there. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and walking away and cheers.